Hi, and welcome to Metro Woman. The show for women and about women. Today it's all about enhancing your environment with new and innovative features for your yard, for your garden, and some of the great new ideas in water features. So today we're going to get a little dirty, get some ideas about our outdoor living space. <laughs> it's, it's time, time for, for Metro, Metro Woman. Woman. Well, we're here with Matt Kaldenberg, and Matt, this is the most wonderful place to come to get inspired and just encouraged, and I know there's a lot of new ideas in landscape and enhancing your patio and your yard, so fill us in on some of the newest and best things to do. Uh, the outdoor living uh, environment is what people are really living space, what they're looking for, and you can put patios out on the patios, you can do fireplaces, you can do grills, you can do fire pits. Uh, you can do outdoor bars. Um, it's pretty much unlimited right now. It's all based on like most landscaping is on your your creativity and your budget as right. far as what you want to do or can do. Right. So people are putting the amenities that they enjoy of being in the house, and then the time of year that you can be outside safely. Oh, absolutely. They're taking their kitchen and sticking it outside and all that. Basically, that's it's 100% correct. I mean, there's okay. there's built-in grills or stoves into these fire into these uh, bars. There's refrigerators, I mean, there's fireplaces. Bars. I'm like, I mean, you don't even have to keep so your heart if you have a martini outside. Come home from a hard day of work instead of yeah. staying inside and go outside your right, outdoor bar right. now. Unwind. Exactly. Now, I have a question. We live in the Midwest and we mm -hmm. fight a lot of wind and a lot of inclement mm -hmm. weather. So what are some of the precautions when you're planning this outdoor living space? The outdoor living space for the big items like the bars, the fireplaces, the grills, things like that, they're all built-ins. I mean, they're real, they're real heavy duty, they're real sturdy. Mm -hmm. About the only thing you really need to plan for the weather would be your, your accents, like the flowers you're going to put out there, hang baskets, mm -hmm. containers, things like that. Mm -hmm. but, all of your outdoor stuff, the design field. elements. As we go outside later, you'll see that our outdoor kitchen and fireplace and stuff, it's been here for two years now. It's held up, even this last year where we had record amounts of snow, it's held up beautiful and sure. it's just, um, it, it, they're very, very well uh, maintained and installed for the last for a long time. So do you see more people going that extra step to, you know, it's just not a few pots, it's more hardscape? Exactly, okay. people are staying home more now. They're wanting to enjoy, they're wanting to entertain at home. And this way they can do they can do more of that. Sure. So yes, there's, it's really getting to be a big a big item. Well, part of what you're talking about, I know, include these beautiful fountains mm -hmm. and, and water features. So we want to hear a lot about that. Well, we've got a new a new item that we found that I brought in this year. These are solid granite uh, fountains. They're real simple, easy water features. Uh, water features are very elegant, very soothing uh, environment for people to you know enjoy, sit back, relax, enjoy the environment. These are, we can install them yourself, you know, yourself or we can install them for you. But they're, um, they're obviously, like I said, they're solid granite, so they're very heavy duty. I was going to say, they look pretty sturdy. Oh, they're very sturdy. You know, <laughs> plug them in no, here. I'm sure you, you, can, you can lift it, Tam. <laughs> totally. And if you ha I'm sure if you had a good breakfast, you could probably lift them yourself. Okay. <laughs> well, I might be calling Matt yeah. on that one. <laughs> I might hire that done, actually. Oh, yeah. but, but they're, you're right. There's something about the sound of water and the soothingness of... And they're real simple. Yeah. They've got a self they're self-contained reservoir down the bottom here. Sure. And it's got a little trap door on it, so in the wintertime, all you do is reach your hand. You don't have to take anything apart. You just move the rock away, reach in there, and grab the pump, and pull the pump out, and just let it set oh. for the year. And that's it? That's all you have to do to them. Wow. And I think that is what people are looking for, simple, easy things to do. Everybody's busy nowadays. I mean, two jobs, working kids, you know, activities, whatever. They want, they would, everybody still wants to enjoy it, but they want less maintenance and yes. things, items like these that make it very enjoyable. Right. Now, would you have to change, because I assume that becomes a pond of water under mm -hmm. there, or pool of water. So does that need to be changed ever? You'll, you'll need to, the water's going to evaporate anyway, so okay. you'll have to add some water once in a while, but you won't need to change. You can put some stuff in there uh, to keep the water clear. Okay. But other than that, no, because you're going to get normal evaporation and use. You're going to have to fill it up maybe once every couple weeks or once, three so weeks. So you're not going to get green, slimy, no, gross? No, okay. Just okay. Put, we got some stuff, you can just put in the water there to keep it clear and, and real simple and real easy. So That's it really looks cool. like a lot of work and it looks like expensive, but you know, I don't think it is. You could actually... Two people would probably install one of these start to finish in a couple, three hours. Wow. But you, we could do it in 10 minutes, don't you think, Tim? Well, <laughs> with the right help. Uh, <laughs> a consultant on the I don't theme. know about that. I hurt my back, you know? So. <laughs> no, that's our line. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
They are heavy, but they're very beautiful very and very fun. Okay. Well, I think we should venture outdoors with, since we've been talking so much about it mm -hmm. and see exactly what we can explore outside. Put your words into practice now. You guys, so. I'm going to let you guys install one yourself. <laughs> Great. Okay. Join us after the break here on Metro Woman. Today it's all about enhancing your environment with new and innovative features for your yard, for your garden, and some of the great new ideas in water features. Okay, Matt, we've, we talked inside that you're gonna have us do a water feature because Tam and I are so awesome at <laughs> stuff outside. Oh, absolutely. So what are we going to do and, and how do you even I, approach I see it? a lot of work well, coming. I, there's I tools. Obviously. Well, the tools, that, you know, if you're not used to the tools, you'll have to get a little used to them, but we'll, we'll work with you, okay? We'll okay. work with you. But that nice fountain we had in there, we're going to bring out here, and we're going to install one out here. Good. So the first thing I'd like you guys to do is you want to grab a rake. Okay. All right. These guys Those are, are right. called rakes. <laughs> here, Tam. Got it. Uh-huh. All right. You guys worked these before? Uh, I've I have. seen them on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, it is my grip and approach correct here or what? It's all up to the end of the, end of the user. Everybody okay. uses them different. Well, then. So it's all however it works as long as it gets the job done. There you okay. Go. okay. The first right. thing you want to do is you want to find a nice place in your yard, your backyard that you want to install this. And lots of times it's, most people put them right next to like a patio or fountain or a patio or your backyard area so where they can sit out there they can enjoy it. There are some people that actually have them out in their other Guard, flower gardens because it has an accent out there sure. to, to bring out you know the flowers and everything else around it. Okay. But we're gonna put one right. We're gonna install one right here. So the first thing you need to do, all right, is, is rake out an area that's the same size as the, the water reservoir. Okay. And then okay. this this bucket right here, it's called the water reservoir. Okay. This is what the water is gonna go into. All right. So we need to make our hole as big as this bucket. Okay. Got it. Okay, so what, Sam. The first thing you do is take your bucket and turn it upside down and ah. then just rake out an area that's the size of that pole there. Perfect. All right. See that circle? That's using so, your yep. noggin. <laughs> no, okay. that's using the reservoir. Okay. <laughs> now, you're, you're doing rake interference, Tam. <laughs> are we doing this properly? You are, you are hired. If you're looking for a part-time job, come on over. <laughs> and try not to uh, destroy the existing Existing, you gotta be plants. The existing stuff. <laughs> exactly. And once, once you get the mulch out, you need to switch utensils. Utensils. Go, go from the rake to the shovels. Okay. Okay. Now you need to dig. All right. Oh. And you just okay. need to dig a hole. Again, what you want to do is <laughs> take your shovel, your rake, <laughs> and turn it upside down, girls. You know, and oh. try to mark it so you have an idea how deep you want to be. Oh, so that right. way you're not just digging down, you know, 20 feet deep and trying to cook swimming pool. Why don't they make the handle like a measuring like lines and numbers? You know, that's a good you idea. Could hey, you could invent that. invention. The invention. Great. Okay. okay, and then and it's over here in, in the wheelbarrow. Here, would you like me to move that for you? Oh, just a bit. Sure. <laughs> We got skills, Tam. Boy, yeah. you guys are, I've never seen a hole dug this fast before. <laughs> well, we, You'd have to pay us a lot. <laughs> you guys are good. This is tough Iowa dirt. I We're know, I was going to say. It like, no problem. Problem. It's like good stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to hurt that plant. Then the boss will be mad. <laughs> Oh, we're getting down to the core of the earth. You Dude, are getting down here. there a little bit. I'd say a little bit deeper. Seriously? Seriously. All right, all right. You need to get all that out soil out of there. Uh, we, we've already got uh -oh. it pretty major. I see some mulch falling in there. Yep. Yeah, you're screwing things up. <laughs> I'm kind of screwing. Scrape the sides there. Is, yep. it, is it making you crazy to watch us and you can't help? <laughs> Absolutely. You're trying not to just say, give me the shovel. No, okay. really. All you right, guys right. are doing great. I, you want I'm, us to feel good about ourselves. I do. Okay. Mm. This is to prove anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. And <laughs> well, that's, I want, that's the truth. I want you to have the enjoyment of knowing that you did it yourself. Right. Well, and you've got a point there. I think when people take it I, upon themselves to do it, it's more you, you take more ownership it, and enjoyment out of it. It's definitely more enjoyable. Yes. And then there's, you just got to know when you're so mad that you need to have Matt <laughs> come to call for help. Because 
you who just had it with the dirt. And we're always more than welcome to come help if you need to decide it's too much for you. Yeah, before the divorce, before the breakup, call Matt. <laughs> we'll try to prevent all those problems. <laughs> and once you think you get close, you can yeah, let's take check your it. Take, let's check, check it. it. Set it down in there. And you can see it's just still, it's a little tight in there, so we just need to scrape off a little bit more. Oh. We want we want the top of this rim here to be level with the ground. Right. Okay. So we just, we just pull it back out. Okay, Sonia. All right. <laughs> We're just getting the edges scrapey a little bit. This stuff, the loose stuff. All right. Really kind of clean out the hole a little bit so that. You're a good scraper, Sam. <laughs> I'm kind of a scrapper, is what I am. Oh. <laughs> I will have to admit, you guys are doing very, very good. You guys sure you haven't done this before? <laughs> My grandparents farmed. I helped scoop up stuff. It wasn't dirt, though. <laughs> <laughs> this does, does not smell. But it's good for the dirt, I bet. It was a good fertilizer, you betcha. I'd say we're almost there. Getting Maybe just closer. Get a couple, yep, a couple more scrapes off the side there. Man, you're just going out I that know. Well, Who I, wants to see the finished product? I'm she, following directions. I think she had a frustrating weekend. <laughs> you were good in school, weren't you? You followed directions. She was. <laughs> well, we're going to well, keep making sure that this fits exactly and just come back after the break and see if we actually accomplished our goal <laughs> here at Metro Woman. <laughs> Today it's all about enhancing your environment with new and innovative features for your yard, for your garden, and some of the great new ideas in water features. All right, this is a water reservoir or bucket. Just slide it down the hole, the perfect it hole. Fits. You guys, look at that. <laughs> we did good. Yay. All right. Really good. Okay. In a very elementary school way, I'm satisfied with that exact <laughs> fitting. And then yeah. we're going to take this grate, and you can see it's got a door right here. Oh. So in the winter time, it's real simple. Just reach down in here, pull out your pump, and that way you can just leave everything in here. Gotcha. You just set it down over here. Okay, this is what's going to hold the fountain. Oh, the fountain's sure. Gonna sit on here. Sure. And then we have our... And you're green. seeing sure like you and know. And seeing as how this is a granite fountain, I suspect that's pretty sturdy. That's very sturdy, <laughs> absolutely. Then you've got this green mesh here, which will help keep your rock and everything. You just lay it oh. down on here. And tuck it down like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. The pump. And here's your pump. Now, question about pumps. Are they uh -huh. pretty long lasting or do they have to be replaced over time? It's like anything else. It depends uh -huh. on whether you buy a cheap one, a middle one. Okay. Up, I mean, these are warranty for a year. There's some that are two years, three years, four years. The key with this pump here, or any pump for water feature, is to make sure you have the right one that will pump enough water, volume of water, up to the top of, the, of what you're trying to do. Okay. But if you have a fountain that's like three or four foot tall, you're going to need a bigger pump. Sure. Right? And do they ever have to be cleaned or, you know, Usually not. If, if you've got, it, if you've got um, the mess on here, the matting, <laughs> to protect the water, to filter it out, then no, they won't need to be, okay. you know, but if you have something, like on the pond over here, where you've got debris and stuff on there, we have a skimmer that actually skims it, and it's got to clean the skimmer out all the time. Okay. So depends on what you're doing. All right. Um, on this pump here, there, this is this is um, just screws down on here. This piece here, just put it on here, and this is the flow control valve here. So you can control if you want more water coming up or less water coming up. There's just a little flow right here. You just turn this up or down. Uh, right. And that's okay. all there is to it. The, so that once the green mesh goes on, now what we need to do is cut a little hole about the size of a half dollar for the uh, hosing for the fountain to go down through. So now that that's done, the next thing, the hardest part of this whole job besides digging the hole, is to move the fountain over onto your water reservoir. I have a very sturdy gentleman here named Rob who's going to help me <laughs> move this. I think we're out of the picture on this, what? which is what? good. <laughs> be sad if he doesn't get to be on the show. Let's get out of their way. Oh my gosh. I think you just place it how you want on the 
on your reservoir there. We totally could have done that, but we thought you, well, guys, you know. guys look great doing it. <laughs> then what you want to do is you want to take your hose, to the thing, and you want to shove it down through that little hole that you made. And then you'll also notice there's like a little black rubber wash on here. What this does is you slide this down inside the hole. And what that does, it keeps the water from going back down. Oh, sure. Makes sense. And you just slide it down like that. Okay. Okay. Then you take your pump, you got your hose here, and you take your pump and just slide the hose right on there. And then you just slide it down into the water reservoir. Now the next step is to cover this up with, we're going to use river rock here, but if you have some place where you have crushed brick, you would like to use that, or granite, or some type of hard material other than mulch. The mulch will get down in here and obviously oh. cause it. So oh, you yeah. want to use a hard product like sure. crushed granite, slate, rock, I mean there's different kinds of, of rock. You can use white marble, whatever you want to do. Okay. There's a bucket here. Oh. You there it is, it's already. Yeah, it's already, just grab a bucket. Magical. Grab a bucket. Uh-huh. Grab a bucket, Tamara. Can you get the bucket? Sure. There's a hole in the bucket. bucket. Dear, Would you like some help? Okay. How about I help you? How about, I'll Matt, I'll, I'll, I'll here. Oh, no, wait a minute. Uh, I'm moving a little bit. I'll help, wow. Now, Tammy, look, so, know, what are you doing? I know. Welcome well. to the gun show. <laughs> Now what we want to do is just dump the rock down on here okay. and to cover the mess here. And just sprinkle it down. So just like Mother Nature just had this random like just dump it. Make it look thing natural and beautiful. Standing there right. in the middle of Okay. Okay. Yep. I bet I can tip this over. Come on, Tinkerbell. Can you, <laughs> you can get those rocks dumped out. Alright. Gosh. See that? But there again, this is a project that anybody can do. With a little help. With a, with, <laughs> it's easier. It's easier sometimes too if you just dump the whole us. rock. You just dump the whole rock. Yeah. Just dump it and then move the rock around instead of trying to move the bucket. Move the bucket. <laughs> okay. Just Good a, li tip. a little helpful hint. So there's a little common sense involved, is what you're saying? Well, sometimes yes, that helps. Check that out, man. Very good, Sonia. Yeah. Nice. nice. Wow. That's pretty slick. Now the last thing we need to do is just fill it up with water uh -huh. and turn on. Well, what about the thing that was sitting in the middle of the, the bowling ball? Oh, you're right. <laughs> the bowling ball. Well, you know, <laughs> it's if you had a thumb to bowl with, <laughs> That's you right. just go like that. And that just slides. Right on there. And that's just how easy it is, folks. <laughs> so when we come back, we will have this up and running. We'll have water filled up and we'll have it up and running. <laughs> so join us after the break here on Metro Woman. But first, here's another quick and easy recipe from Kayla Westergaard from the Iowa Egg Council. Looking to kick up your scrambled eggs? Try adding barbecue sauce. Today we're going to be making barbecued scrambled eggs. The ingredients you'll need are two eggs, two tablespoons of milk, and two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Start by making scrambled eggs like you normally would. Add your milk, but this time also add your barbecue sauce. Mix well. And pour into your skillet. Now barbecue sauce isn't the only thing you can add. Try adding a hot sauce, a salad dressing, or that special secret ingredient. Anything goes with scrambled eggs. When we come back, barbecued scrambled eggs. Moving my mind and my hands at world record speed. I'm Luke Myers. If you want to be incredible, eat incredible. Eggs, incredible energy for body and mind. Barbecue eggs, and don't forget, try adding your own seasonings, salad dressings, or special ingredients. I'm Kayla Westergaard.
as we're all done, it, we've got the water reservoir all filled up. Now, time for your hard work to be enjoyed. Just plug it in. Okay. Ta da! Okay, let's make sure we're Ta -da -da -da. matching. Here. And there you go. Ah, hey. Good job, Matt. Hey. Yes. You guys did good. <laughs> Teamwork. There, there again, we can always adjust that flow. You know, we talked about earlier. So we've got a few more questions for you. Oh, great. Well, how about we go inside our beautiful greenhouse, all the flowers, and let's talk about it in there. Sounds great. good. All right. Well, Matt, you gave us so much wonderful information outside, but many of us are still planters, mm -hmm. planter people. So <laughs> tell us about these cool pots and uh, the advantage of them. These are they're called environmentally friendly planters. These are kind of a self, they're a self-watering planter. What they do, they have a reservoir in the bottom. So as you fill it up, like most planters, the water runs yeah, out the you side. Can see the... You can see there, most water runs out the side and it's a waste of water. Right. These, the water stays in here and then as the dirt, dirt gets dry, it absorbs, it soaks back up into the dirt. So you don't have to water as much and you save, you save water. So they're, they're very environmentally Makes friendly. Very practical sense. Mm -hmm. And the pots themselves are made out of a composite of yes, some sort? Yep, yep, just a nice little composite material. And you can leave it outside all year yes, and you don't you have to worry about it. Yep. Okay. Wow, good choice. And look at this. And that's kind of a finished product over there. Uh, like you said, you can come in here, we got hundred, you know, different flowers to choose from and you can kind of just mix and match and we'll help you plant too. Well, and there are a lot of new ideas about different plants to mm -hmm. use. So mm -hmm. what are some of the newer varieties out there? Well, this isn't really a new variety, but just real quickly, something like this, since it's tall, you'd want a little bit taller plant. You could do like mm -hmm. a spike in here which you get, mm -hmm. and then fill in with some uh, patients, uh, mm -hmm. pansies, some other stuff down below here. Sure. One of the newest varieties right here, these are called sun patients. All right, they're actually impatience for the sun and they're, they, they love the sun. They're the new variety that came out and, and you can see how lovely they are. Very, very pretty. They yes, are, you know. yes. Um, but that's one of the newer varieties that I think I, we found this year that I, that I really enjoy that, I, that we carry in. So important to visit a nursery and really research and take time in picking your plants because yep. there's a lot of new things there, out there. Every year there's Tons of different things that come out. Great. We've learned about oh. that and what a rake is today. <laughs> <laughs> and a yes, few other did. good things too. Good tips. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. We've enjoyed it a lot. Again. Again. Yes. I'm glad you guys can come out. Thank you. Newest information. Our pleasure. If yep. you have any show ideas for us, please visit our website, www.metrowoman.tv, and let us know what you'd like to see. Thanks, and thanks for, for watching. watching.